In this video, we're going to draw the activity network for this precedence table using activity on arc. So we start off with A doesn't depend on anything. So first of all, we're just going to have the edge A coming out of the source node, labeling it zero. OK, so then we've got B, C and D all rely on A. So I'm going to have B, C, and D all coming out of that node there. Let's label that one. Right, then we've got E relies on B. So E relies on B. So I could have it coming up there. Now F relies on both C and E. Now, I could have C coming up here and bending round and joining it, but to avoid that, to try and keep nice straight lines, I'm going to redraw E so that it just comes vertically downwards. And then I can have F coming out there. Let's label that number three. OK, right, then we've got G relies on both D and F. Again, I don't want to have to kind of like loop that round. So I could have redraw F so that it's coming downwards like that, relying on both C and E, meeting D at that vertex there. Let's call that 4. And I need G coming out of that. And then here is my end node. So this would be labelled 4, and that would be labelled 5. Okay, now as I said in the previous video, um, there, go, there are going to be multiple ways of drawing it with curved edges. Um, you might have some crisscrossing in there as well, depending on how you've uh, set your vertices out. But my aim is to always try and use straight lines and to also make sure they're not crossing. That's really just a presentation thing rather than something that's going to. Uh, necess necessarily affect your marks.